Hey everybody, sorry about the hollow sound in here, but the room's empty, the house is empty, so that's why it sounds so hollow, no carpet on the floor either. I want to show you how to cut in a switch plate. We're changing colors in this room, you can see it's blue. These areas that are white, those have been touched up by a previous painter that didn't finish the job, but he primed them with a primer so that the areas that he mudded over have a primer on it. But I had the customer get a paint that had the primer in it. This is a Pittsburgh paint interior, and it's a sat or a eggshell finish, and uh, easier to clean, easy to maintain. And he goes with a neutral color. This is a beige. Uh, easier to sell the house this way. But anyways, this is how I do the cutting in. I do one brush width. Cut that in, cover it all real good. Need a little more paint on there. There, there's one coat with the brush. Now, that's not gonna cover it. You know, it says guaranteed one coat cover up, but they don't tell you exactly how. With a brush, you can only put on so much at a time, otherwise it's gonna run. But anyways, you put this one coat on, let her dry, and you're gonna see some of that blue kind of showing through. It's gonna have like a little transparent look. And that's the way a lot of times it goes even with a roll in the walls, especially with a big color change. So figure two coat cover up unless you're going real close. If you was going with the blue on this again, close to that, you'd be fine with one coat. But um, in this case, we gotta do the two coat cover up. And a little bit later, I'll show you how I cut in the ceiling line. Different color than the ceiling. And we'll, I'll show you that. Hi everybody, this is Jerry. I want to show you how I cut in a, a switch plate. This is an outlet. And uh, I use a brush. Now, Somebody painted over this one before. It looks kind of crappy. I don't know, maybe the homeowner will change this, but because they did that, I'll go ahead and just cover it right now lightly. But this is how I cut in around the box, brush it on, feather it out so we don't have any kind of lines or overlaps or runs. Now you can see, this is beige, this is blue. This is the original color of the wall from the last owner. These areas here, you see that are white, that's primer from a previous painter that primed some areas he passed up. I'm using a paint, it's Pittsburgh paint. It's a eggshell finish and uh, it's primer and paint together. Even though it's primer paint together, you can't cover it with one coat, not this big color change. If it's close to this color blue, you could do it one coat. But because of the difference from that blue to this beige, there's too much variation in color, it won't cover adequately. And you can't roll a wall and put it on too heavy. You're going to wind up with runs. You're going to wind up with roller marks. You're going to have brush marks too. And, uh, streaks everywhere if you put it on too heavy. It's got to be put on at a nice flow and leveled out evenly. And so when you do that, it's going to take two coats. But I just wanted to see how I do this. I'll show you when I get this coating on. And then I'll also show you how I cut in the ceiling edge, the ceiling corner to the wall. The ceiling's white and then the wall's beige. So we got to cut in very carefully all the way around the room so we get a nice sharp edge looking all the way around. And we'll talk to you then. Okay, I'm going to show you now how I cut in the corner. In the corners, take my brush, go one width from the corner, right into the corner, and then on the other side. Same way. Brush it in, feather it up. Feather that out, it will spread quite a ways. We don't have any runs over here too. 
And that's the way I cut in the corners. So that way I know I've got the corners cut in good. I don't have to worry about the roller not getting into that corner and missing it. I'll use the brush. I'll put the first coat of paint on the walls, get up there as close as I can with the roller. Then once that's dry, I'll cut in these corners again with my brush and roll the second coat. And you'll never see where the roller mark or any kind of roller mark or where I stop because it feathered in good. And once I get up to the ceiling, I'll show you how I cut that in. There, on this video, I'd like to show you this wall. You can see this is where I cut in the corner. Now I want to go up here on the ceiling corner where the white meets the blue. And I want to cut that in. I want to show you how I do that by using a brush. I prefer the brush. I know there are many other tools out there on the market, but I feel the brush works the best for me. And what I do is I dip my brush in my little paint tray, kind of wipe off any excessive so it doesn't drip, take my brush right up in the corner, and just pull it along in that corner. It will ride right in the corner, make a nice cut line. And then I'll come back here on the side of it, brush it, feather it, and there you have it. Cutting in the ceiling corner, the wall in the ceiling corner. Okay, what I did is I went across the ceiling, cut that in, that corner all the way down to the baseboard, just above the baseboard, a little bit on it, above the register, cut in around the outlet and the switch over here, up along the door, to the top of the door. Just wanted to see, this is how I start my painting process. Cut in first, then start rolling. And I'll get the roller going here and I'll show you how it looks when it has one coat on it. Okay, I just wanted to show you here, this area, one coat over this blue, and by applying it with the W effect, because you can roll back through the W, picking up more paint, putting it back down, spreading it out evenly across the wall. So then that way you're going to have a good, even cover and I've always done this way throughout the years I've got 30 plus years of painting experience and I've always done it this way this way works the best never had any callbacks from a customer because they my paint job was bad or didn't cover or didn't completely look right now if it's the finish is done Correctly to start with, prep right, put your paint on, and then spread it out like I'm showing you. You'll have a real nice looking job when you get done. So I just wanted to show you that again. I can't express that probably strong enough how important it is to do that type of W design as you're putting your paint on, then rolling back through it and spread it out to get that nice even look. I'll show you again. Back and forth, it picks the paint up, puts the paint down. Picks the paint up, puts the paint down. So that it covers it with a nice, even flow. And you get better results. Nice, better results. Real good results. Fantastic results. Fabulous results. That's what we want. Remember, what is the key? A happy customer. So do a good paint job. Remember what the key is? 
apply the paint, spread it out like a W, then come back through it, picking it up, putting it back down, spread it out, it levels it, gives it a even finish throughout that whole area you just put that paint on. So you don't have some that's built up more than another. So that, that's the key, is to spread it out evenly, consistent with that flow, all the way around your room. Never change from that. If you decide not to do that anymore and you try a different way, it may not work as well. But I find staying with the W effect, spreading it out, works great. People are happy that way with the paint jobs. Word of mouth comes, get you more jobs. I never had to pay for advertising. Keep busy. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, here's where I put a second coat on, and here's the first coat. Over in this area, I showed you that one picture earlier that you still could see a line from the first coat from the primer that was put on before the first coat of paint from the other painter when he touched up. And anyways, it's in this area. And when this dries, I will show you again and we'll see how it looks. Well, here we are. I'm on this wall. Got the second coat on it. Remember I said once you had the two coats, you wouldn't be able to see that those lines, the variation in the color and the cover up. So you can see, did very well here. So we need to do two coat application to get a good quality job. This room is done, it's got two coats on it now. You can see it covered up real nice. You don't see any color variation or anything that shows from underneath any lines or transparent look it all has a nice even flow now two coat application does a great job 